lady's stiletto and a man's hiking boot rather than a pair of human <laughs> heels. And uh, not really being known who you are, walking around and doing what you like and being who you are. Now all of a sudden, you kind of, people kind of know who you are. Well, kind of, yeah. I mean, we're, we're live streaming this and I wouldn't be sat here if that wasn't the case. So, no, it's, it, it is a lot different and, you know, it's not the easiest at times. I know it really sounds really nice being, you know, famous and all this, but it's really not all that. It's actually quite annoying when people, when you know, cameras are just following you around. But it's really nice. The nice part of this is when, you know, you come to things like this and, you know, there's there's wonderful kids that just dance, you know, want to have a photo. I remember being like that when people from Strictly would come to, you know, our dance school or whatever, and we would meet them and, and you know, you get very excited. And, you know, now the roles change, so I know exactly how they feel. So it's nice to give back a little bit and, um, yeah, and see how happy it makes people. So it is nice. Mm -hmm. Didn't you have a funny experience recently when someone asked if, they, if you were you? Yes, yes. I was out for a drink with my friends and someone said to me, are you, are you that guy from Strictly? I went, yeah, I am. Sure. No, you're not. <laughs> well, yes, I, no, I am. Sure. No, you're not. I went, well, why did you ask me then? It makes no sense. But yeah, you do get some funny ones. I'm sure. Kind of I'm right sure. Here. I'm sure. So, um, you've got a tour coming up, haven't you? I do. Is this where we plug in? We yeah, plug, you've got plug in. We've got to plug in a little bit. But we're not very happy about it, are we? <laughs> why is that? Well, we're not very happy about the opening night. Well, no. No, because well, I can't say no, Jack. I can't say no. I sell tickets for it. No, obviously I'm from Southampton and I tried very hard to get into the Mayflower Theatre, but unfortunately it wasn't able to happen. So my opening night with no idea is actually in Portsmouth, which is. That's, Yay! If you're not woo, 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 woo. I don't know why it's not a very famous, happy thing. But no, I'm doing this <laughs> all with my, my lovely other half, Nandi Vichkova. Um, who is a ten dance two-time world champion, and uh, we're we're doing it. It's called Once Upon a Time. And it's very 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 lucky to be able to do this. You know, as a young kid that was doing the competition circuit, much like everybody here. And uh, you know, I feel very very privileged to be able to do a UK tour. And it's called Once Upon a Time. And if you would love to come and watch, I would be very very grateful. But if you don't, and it's absolutely fine. But uh, yeah, there's the plug for my tour with Nadia, and we. But our main thing is we want to bring back the traditional, proper ballroom and Latin dance, and that maybe sometimes goes over the over our heads nowadays. On strictly, maybe it gets a bit too fun. So we really want to make sure that it's um, ballroom and Latin that we know and love. So and you got some uh, actual ballroom and Latin dancers in the video as well, haven't you? Yes. We've got a cast of uh, six other dancers. Uh, two. Two former British champions. We've got Chloe Hewitt, who was a British champion. We've got Oliver Beardmore, who was also a British champion. Recently, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, years ago. So we've got a great cast and a singer, and uh, yeah, so that's very exciting. We're currently in rehearsals now, hence why I've got a bit of a limp because I'm very tired. You've always been dragging your leg. <laughs> uh, why is it Nadia and Kai, and not Kai and Nadia? Well, you know, everyone's known as. I won't say names, but you know, you, you, it's always the man's name first, so I thought, you know, why not be a gentleman and put oh, this his name's face? Nice with you. Yeah. Oh, isn't that gentlemanly? Gentleman, isn't yeah, it? You have grown, yeah. you? you? have grown. Now you're yeah. Kelly and James, you're not James and Kelly. No, no, no we no. are not. It's <laughs> alphabetical. That's okay, fine. <laughs> now we've got a couple of questions. Here's one. Okay, go on. Who has it to me? Why did you choose dancing and not follow your father in football? Oh, I'm just saying, we're quite pleased. Southampton won tonight. We had two we needed to win. Uh, we both did exactly the same thing. It's all the result. We both did that exactly at the same time. Yeah, we did. Over Uncanny. Um, the reason why I chose dancing over football, um, I was, I had a, just to put it in perspective, I had a Premier League contract from Southampton that was on the table, and I had the current, she was a juvenile British champion, and going into junior who wanted to dance with me, so I had a bit of a dilemma because I was not very good at dancing at the time, still not great now, um, and I was pretty good at football, and uh, my dad was saying, well, what are you going to do? You know, he's from Newcastle, bit of a Geordie, Billy Elliot dad moment, and uh, I said, well, dad, I think I want to be a dancer. He was like, oh, we? okay, right? <laughs> Why? And I was like, well, I just love it, you know, he was like, yeah. Okay, my dad was like loads of girls there. Went, okay, fine, okay, fine, you're good. Yeah. So it ended up being good, and uh, my mum, who's obviously here as well, she was very supportive and uh, turned out pretty good. So, 
Yeah. Not bad. Actually, the, the question did say in brackets girls, question mark. There you go. It was all about the girls, wasn't it? It was all about the girls. So in your dancing career over the years, by the way, no one's put their names on this, so we don't know who's written these questions. questions. So over the years, I assume you've had a few dance partners. What makes a good and bad partner, and why did you split with the good ones? Well, I don't think that I'm going to answer that for them, whoever it was. He didn't split with the good ones, they split with him. Woo! <laughs> because he brought a stiletto and a man's hiking <laughs> uh, What makes a good dance partner? Um, for me, I think balance, I guess that's the, probably the key word, is balance in, in every kind of, in all parts of life it's important, especially when you're dancing, because you have to have the perfect relationship, you have to be a team, you have to work together. And yeah, it's about having fun, but at the same time, you know, I was only a kid, I was only a teenager, so, you know, I didn't really know what I was just doing it. I wasn't really thinking about what I was doing back then. Now I have perspective and, and can look back and go, oh, I wish I did that different, I wish I did that different. But what's important is that you get on with your partner and you both have a common goal and you both want to work hard and you have good coaches behind you. And that's, that's the main thing. So I think that's the pretty good recipe. Pretty good. Well said, well said.